Many of the bombs that were dropped were never exploded. Over the years, thousands of Laotians have been killed or injured. Farmers tending their fields, children playing. The wounds, a missing leg or arm, last a lifetime. Countries which are currently the most deeply affected are Cambodia, Sri Lanka, Angola and Afghanistan. And it's their very local specialist knowledge, their, their memories, um, their technical expertise and their dedication to ridding the country, you know, for their children, for their grandchildren. They, they, they have that, you know, no other person is going to be so invested in wanting a country to be free of landmines than the people who actually live there. countries that are facing hugely insecure futures due to the proliferation of IEDs in contemporary conflicts and, and their places like Syria, Yemen and Iraq. So I think in the case of Syria as we're finding that various areas become liberated more and more IDPs will return but they will be at risk from this huge IED legacy. It's the very first step in allowing people to start to, to, to build a path to recovery. So until that land is declared safe, then you've got all these internally displaced people who are stuck uh, in you know, putting pressure on land resources in other parts of the country. <laughs>